Hi everyone, uh, beautiful day here in Newfoundland and uh, great day to do a review. <laughs> it's a, a review of the a rifle scope, a company by the name of CB Life sent me this scope. I just uh, had it in the box but now I'm getting put on my 22 caliber rifle here. And uh, I'm going to do a review of it and uh, give you my thoughts of the scope. And uh, it's not a scope that I would put on a like a high power rifle, like a like a seven millimeter, not like that. But I think she's a nice little scope for a small caliber. Right now, this is on my 22. It's their Jacko Howe model, and it's a four by 12 by 40. I've done a little bit of looking through it at my target. I got a target there 20 yards away, and uh, seems really clear, really clear scope. So that's that's a good thing for sure. And uh, after I get the, the practical part, I guess done. I'll uh, give you lots of uh, great uh, details about Scope that's on their website and uh, from what I see about the Scope itself, I'll uh, give you my honest thoughts of it. As you can see, as I said before, I got it now mounted on my 22 and it's the regular uh, standard procedure uh, of installing a Scope. There's nothing, nothing different about it and the Scope plus the rings I'll have a, a description in my description. I'll have a links to where you can see it and uh, take a look at it yourself on their website. When I put this scope on the gun, I'll, or any gun, or any scope that I install, I try. I did it in my basement. I make sure that my uh, table is level. Make sure that my gun is level, so that when you put your scope on, I use a little tiny, short level I put on top of the scope here and make sure that your scope is level because when you're trying to adjust your right and left turret if your gun is not if your scope is not level and most guys know this already but for anyone that don't realize it because a lot of guys just look through the scope and feel like okay she's pretty level and just tighten up the rings but I try and make sure that she's perfectly level so that when you turn your turrets right or left that your scope adjusts perfectly right and left not on a slant of, of a little bit. So it makes it easier when you're trying to line her up, you know? One of the neat features that I love about this scope is it's got this uh, under each cap, you can adjust the turrets back to zero, which is really neat because if you struck your uh, turrets by mistake, uh, or even if you have to adjust it for a long shot, I won't be worrying about that on this gun, but on bigger calibers you would. And you can adjust the scope, or. Uh, you can turn the turrets back to zero. After you get her lined up, you just slacken up the top screw. I'll show you. I'll do the procedure here. Uh, like I said, after you get her lined up, you just slacken the top screw and just turn your turret to zero to the, and lined up so that you know that your gun uh, is lined up. And if you hit her by mistake with your caps off and you turn this by mistake, you can see that you're off, say, 10 clicks, and you just adjust it back to zero. That was very neat, and a neat feature. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a few shots and uh, at my target at 20 yards and see if I can get her lined up and see how easy the scope is to adjust. And uh, just to, when I turn, I could clearly feel that each, each click, which is great. Sometimes you got scopes that you can't really tell if you're clicking each click, but yeah, no trouble at all. It's a windy day or day, probably you can't hear it, but I can. So I'll line her up and take a few shots and see how easy it is to uh, use this scope and let you know. Okay, I just took one shot just to see where the scope looks. I just mounted the scope. And uh, she's pretty good anyway. Uh, it's gonna be, should be easy to line up. I'm only about maybe three inches low and a shade loop to the left. So I should be able to uh, Slide her in pretty quick here. So what I'm going to do is just put my cross here dead center again of the bullseye. And then adjust my turrets so that I put my cross here wherever the bullet struck. So you just chase your bullet, you know. So I just go down. Like that. And then come across to there. So 
So now in my next shot, I should be uh, pretty close to dead on. So I'll turn the camera around and let you watch. That, and you'll actually see, I'll show you the, the bullet before, and uh, then you'll see the next shot uh, that I'm gonna take now. Okay, you see the bullet uh, just down a little bit, little bit low and a little bit to the left? I'm gonna take a shot now and see. She should, I should be able to get pretty good uh, dead center of the bullseye. So we'll, we'll see what happens. That's pretty good. Very impressive. The scope answered excellent. Wow, yeah, that's, that is, you can't get much better than that. Awesome. Okay, yeah, uh, I mean, you gotta agree. That's uh, what you call answering your, your turret's pretty good. Just one shot and uh, got her dead on. I'll take another shot just to make sure that the scope is staying in the same place. Cause some, some scopes, uh, you can't keep them in line. They bounce all over the place. Sometimes it's a rifle, but I'm pretty confident that this gun is fairly new. That shouldn't be an issue. So I'll take another shot and see if, if, I, if my grouping is going to be half decent and close. So it's just a 22, but it's only 20 yards away. But I'll see, I'll see what happens anyway. Yeah, that's that's perfect. I don't need to take any more shots. That's that's perfectly, perfectly fine for me. <laughs> Very impressive, I thought. Okay, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna adjust my turrets to zero. So I'll bring the camera around so you can see me, see what I'm gonna do here. Okay, right there beside my scope ring, there's a white dot, and on the sides of my turret, there's numbers. So I see zeros off to the right a little bit. So I'll just hold it. I slacken this screw up on top. There you go. Slack them up. Pack. Just turn my dial. Pack wherever zero lines up to the white dot. So now I just tighten it back up. I didn't turn the turrets in. I just turned the, the cover itself. So now, I mean, if I goes like this. Technically, the gun is off at a, at a line now, but all you got to do is put the zero back in line with that white dot, and you know you're good to go. So I do the same thing on the opposite on the side uh, turret. Line zero, right there. Perfect. Again, I can adjust this. If I do it by mistake, I know my zero is, is not in line now, so I just turn my, there's no trouble to hear that. Back in line, and uh, she's good to go. Here's a closer look at the scope. Uh, here's this CV life. Like I said, it's a four by nine by 40. I'm sorry, four by 12 by 40. And uh, the rings, I'm very impressed with the rings. It's got four, four nice solid screws. I think it's well built. Feels real sturdy the scope itself, and along with the scope you get these caps as well. I got the one on the back took off for now because I was uh, adjusting my uh, back lens for the for the distance that I was shooting. To adjust the power of the scope, uh, they got it made pretty neat. This here is like rugged, and you can grip it really good. And you just turn it; it's pretty smooth. You can see five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Of course, I'm only shooting 20 yards, so I had around four power. And before I turned the camera on, actually, I took a look 
Redemption 12 power and it's very clear. I'm yeah, I'm very impressed. Scope seems well built. So I'm happy with it. That's the main thing. My uh, final thoughts on the scope. Uh, I'm very impressed. Uh, and if you're looking for a, a scope for a smaller caliber rifle, it says I think it up to 308. I'll provide that information exactly. But I think she's good up to up to 308. So a 22, any of the small like a 222, 223, uh, it will work perfectly. And uh, like I said, if you're interested in a nice scope. I really recommend this one and uh, I'll provide all the information in the description so that you can go ahead and buy one plus I'll have a discount code there provided for you that you can get a small discount as well so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching